And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Siver Leona. That's right, this is going to be a new champion combination that I haven't really tried out before. We got Daybreak with Leona and combining that with Siver. So we got some new Daybreak cards in the latest expansion. We got like Solari Sunhawk, which is just a nice kind of two-way card that can do get some attacking in, can stun a blocker to help get you attacks in, but it can also play defense, right? Can stun a, a big attacker. Um, good two-way card there. And then we have this new landmark, Eye of the Rahoric, which can also stun enemies. So we can... This is a good mid-range deck, right? Like, if we need to play defense, we can play defense. If we need to play offense, we can play offense. We can, you know, kind of flip the switch and, and get a bunch of damage in real fast with using, like, this to stun a couple of blockers. Leona stuns a blocker. Stunhawk, you know, stun a blocker and get a lot of attacks in. If uh, we have Sivir that, you know, we're just going to be trying to do damage to level up Sivir and give all of our other units um, quick attack and spell shield. There's also a Crystal Ibex in here that can grant an ally Overwhelm. We could play this and give Sivir Overwhelm and give everything else Overwhelm also. So that's kind of cool. Sunburst, deal and damage. Does a good job of leveling up Sivir. Um, and that's what we kind of have. We have some decent card advantage with like Pale Cascade, Guiding Touch. Good combat trick with Exhaust as well. You know, like some Vulnerable with Merciless Hunter. Just a lot of, a lot of different stuff in here. So it looks like a really interesting viewer submitted list. That's what the two D's up here mean. Donation decks. This is a viewer submitted list. Looks really interesting. So let's go ahead and um, go ahead and try our five games in ranked. Yeah. So uh, speaking of Sun Disc, I'm going to try to be playing a Sun Disc deck tomorrow. We have a donation deck to build a Sun Disc deck. I'm going to be doing that later today. Thresh and losses. Let's see how we do. I can see us doing okay. So we're gonna keep Sivir. Like Sunburst is great against both champions in this matchup. It, you know, silences Nasus, it's great against Thrash. I kinda wanna keep it. Alright, you know what? I'm getting greedy. I like I just really like all three of these cards. Like I really like Astral Protection to go along with the Sivir. Because it's like kinda easy for them to kill a Sivir. But obviously I'm getting greedy because I have nothing to do the first three rounds. So that's what our draw steps were for. Unfortunately, we've got Leona Hush. I so we haven't really drawn anything yet a unit that costs three or less but we got one more shot Solari nothing well, that's too bad we had four draws to find Solari soldier Solari shield bearer Solari sunhawk merciless hunter Solari priestess 15 cards in the deck <laughs> almost 50 50 uh, four draws in a row yeah, kind of unlucky there. Maybe they play Glimpse Beyond on the Curse Keeper, and then I can hush it. I obviously can't just go Sunburst on that. One, we need the Sunburst for the champions, but two, they just go Glimpse Beyond in response. Leona plays defense a lot better than Sever. Let's lead with Leona. Alright, there we go, finally. Yeah, Pill Cascade just doesn't save. Why don't they wait till after combat to play Black Spear? Because I could have, um, if I have Guiding Touch. So this looks like game over. Play the either a Horik would stun two units next round. Wow, they didn't play anything else. Wrap them up tight. Like the problem is just, man, I just don't have anything good to play. <laughs> I really don't. Betrayal bears, Shrima. 
hope revived it. It's kind of using my mana the best of again, like, you know, stun two things for the next round. Honor is the rest on a dull blade. We're just kind of delaying the inevitable. If I'm forgotten, then no. So that's just good for me. Because that 01 was going to get stunned, now we get to stun something more useful. Sure. At least that game's over, finally. Now it's personal. Yeah, this game, guarantee this game's going to be better than that one. See, look at that. We actually have something to do before turn four. Already better. I kept super greedy last time. We won't do that again this time. And look at that. My opponent's playing cards. Okay, there we go. Look at that. That didn't take 30 seconds. Okay, see, it's... it's Everything's improving. You must know me, little one. You must. Okay, we actually have an exciting game. So obviously they're killing this. They always kill it. So we'll stun the 4 3. All life must end. Okay, so exhaust. Just waiting. I was maybe going to be going like, you know, Solari Priestess, have a mana for exhaust for something, but obviously we'll just play this. Sivir now. Get the damage started for the level up. Yeah, it does look pretty difficult to level up Sivir in this deck, doesn't it? That's a good card. You want to come up here, Pop? You know, come sit up here. There you go. We love it when they run. Merciless Hunter is so good. Alright, Golden Sister or Meteor Shower? Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Yeah, it's like they wanted to see more Sharima played, so they just like put this ridiculously powerful three drop at a common in Shirima instead of just buffing up some of the other cards in Shirima. Which doesn't make much sense. Just like, just throw one overtly powerful card that you have to put three of in every deck. It's just not a good way to design a card game. But, oh well. Well, let's see. Like, why does this thing have fearsome? That have fear psalm. Gotta find a gift for an acting, right, Arda? Your time in the cycle is done. It's a living. So I'm worried about Black Spear, right? Like I kind of want to play Exhaust and get in there and kill another unit, but I am a little worried about Black Spear. 
Black Spear is really a huge problem no matter what. We'll get our licks then. Cool, no Black Spear. So Soraka, or sorry, so Leona stuns this for two. I guess that's what I'm doing. The dawn has I want to be able to play both Guiding Touch and Pell Cascade. Maybe I should have taken the deal for deal one. Sand and blood. Close you to leveling up. 24. I can't, I can't go Robin plus this thing. I could go like Robin plus Shield Bearer, or just go Golden Sister. I don't think I play around Atrocity. I don't think, I guess I maybe can. Cause I go Golden Sister, they go Nasus. Like that's rough. Take it up with my blade. I don't know what this is gonna do, but let's have it do something. No, one damage to Nasus. I don't want that to be two damage to Nasus because of the six two. Those champions are pretty good. This is a lot better than the first game, though. First light illuminates the land. A lot better than the first game. Let's 
Still stuns that, doesn't take out the spell shield in the other one. The reason to do that, of course, means that you have another Thresh. I, know what I, want. I have to play Sivir to have two Fearsome Blockers. But yeah, there's no Thresh, though. Get like some, I don't know, some boomerang blades in here or something. This matchup is going to be a little bit more our speed because we are, we're playing a lot of small things, right? And then I feel like this is a, a pretty decent anti-aggro deck. Like that's what like these daybreak units are good against. So like the aggro decks, but they're not good against things that go super big like Nasus. So I think we got a little bit better shot here. So I could see mulliganing the Sivir, like this, like out of the opening hand. Obviously, we're going to be keeping both the Solari soldiers. The Sivir didn't, uh, you know, doesn't make, you know, it's, it's not like the best blocker or anything. So that's the card that I could have seen mulliganing. <clears throat> Playing that Solari soldier right there, so we can just go to Priestess next round. All right, so either Falling, falling Comet for Azir, or Traveler, get another Celestial card. Unlike I guess we'll take Falling Comet for Azir. Inspiring Marshal, another good target for Falling Comet. No mercy for those who desecrate our home. They will find our lands do not take well to intruders. So passing here... Nivori. Well, that's not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting them to play this flawless duet to be able to have more damage, you know, do more damage here, but. Because, um, so basically, the problem, like, the problem with playing Leona immediately, like, when I was going to play Leona, was was it would stun the Irelia. And I wanted to stun the Green Glade duo, right? So they play the flawless duet first, then the duo's bigger, and then I play Leona afterwards and stun the duo. Sivir does more damage blocking, it helps, you know, like, playing this as, as the blocker helps with reputation. And it's more overall damage. That's all. The guilty will bear. Usual. To the streets, show them the might of our army. Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. My card has to go. Again, stunning I stunning the wrong card. Yeah, we got all the champions. <laughs> Three Sivers, two Leonas this time. Just like last time. Alright. The order is given. Jorima is send in sky. Past and present. The dawn has arrived. This time, at least they, you know, they played something else first, so we get to actually stun the duo. We 
Just hope we stun the duo. Alright, that should be game. Bask in the light's radiance. Seven, eight, now attacking again, nine, ten, and then. GG's. The sky's dark. All downhill, we just lost every single game. <laughs> Ever since that bug. It's just been all losses. All right, yeah, Pwn's playing Soraka Braum. I like Soraka Braum a lot. Definitely my kind of deck. Definitely my kind of deck. But I like our hand. I think our hand's pretty awesome. Might as well get some damage in for Sivir. It's not much. <laughs> we got a long ways to go. But it's a start. I make shepherding look easy. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. I did attack. That's right. Run. Up to it, Ely. Round up those stars. All right, they're taking it all. Don't tell me what to do. Up to it, Ely. Round up those stars. Don't tell me what to do. I feel better when you feel better. Stand back. Not a bad draw. Not a bad draw at all. We look after our own. Clad in shining sunlight. Deadly paths, just another day in Targon. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. I don't know, like, like which one of these two I'll stun, right? Like, I, like if I play this stun the strongest enemy, we may stun the vulnerable one, but I want to stun the non-vulnerable one. Maybe I'm supposed. To, maybe I should have gave the vulnerable the one on the right. Never mind, I guess I'm just playing this card. This stun's random. Alright, so we'll see. We get one stun with this. And hopefully we stun the non-vulnerable. The one on the right. Yeah, how about that? There we go. Something good happened. Yeah, so if I if I would Sunhawk first, then the then the morning light wouldn't have daybreak anymore. We'll get our licks in. Scorching light. Feel the sun's glory. I 
need to do... We'll just go ahead and go. I don't think we really need to do this exhaust anywhere. Another path, another problem. We look after our own. I need to double pell cascade this thing. Bleh. I think that's probably game then, right? It was going so good. <laughs> astral protection, great card. I, I should have only in my astral protection. Okay, so I guess they're only at eight. Okay, maybe not not game yet. Okay, not game yet. They're only at eight. Love the Overwhelm. That is perfect for Sivir. I mean, it's just random damage, but I hope that we do two to the Broadback Protector. I don't know. Maybe I just don't even play that, actually. Feel better. I'll protect you. Okay, so let's go Crystal Ibex. Alright, I'm gonna wait on you. So I feel like just only bad things can kind of happen if I do more damage to them like that. Okay, let's... Um, right. attack like this. Still doing its thing. Touch my flock. I'm just hoping we can kill these broadback protectors. Let's put them down to two. Okay. Well, down to two. Hey, Witchin, thank you so much. Alright, two damage to them. Five random, two over here. Yes, all right, perfect. Two damage to them, and it did three damage to that, so perfect. I was kind of expecting like a guiding touch on their end to like heal their nexus a little bit or star shaping or something. All right, Aurelia Zir. We should be able to play some pretty good defense. We lost this matchup though already, but we had a really weird hand with you know, having five champions and we just couldn't really do anything. So this hand, I don't have the round one cards. But there's a lot of cheaper units to kind of try to help us stabilize the board. You know, get that six mana invoke obliterate for um, for the four six for the inspiring marshal. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you want... I'm perfectly fine playing the deck in ranked. That's, you know, you want it in ranked. That's, that's good with me. Alright, so they got a powerful setup. Sparring student green glade duo. Very powerful setup. I right, gotta do a little bit of stunning. Alright, 
All right, so I could hush the Green Glade Duo and block that, but I have an opportunity. But I can do that the next time they attack also. I have this opportunity to take down the Sparring Student, and so I'm going to take it. They, of course, can use, you know, Recall, but that, that means that's Recall they're not using on the Droplet. So that'd be like Merciless Hunter already trading for a card. They Recall it. Them not playing anything kind of means Homecoming. Like, that's what I'm guessing. Like, they may bounce Dancing Droplet and then bounce the Sunhawk, but, you know, the Sunhawk... Sorry, I'm perfectly fine with them bouncing that because that's a two-drop. Okay, going this route. That's not bad for me. Slows them down. Took, you know, like that turn. I I played Hunter. They played Bounce Spell. Doesn't mean we're gonna win or anything. I'm just saying that like that. We've had a couple of decent turns in a row. And our stuns are doing a really good job of holding these green glade duos back. Holding one back each round. The Emperor commands the land obey. All in the shoulders. Take one. And we're gonna hush uh, this green glade duo. I should block with this soldier there. Yeah, I, I, that I should be at 13. I should have blocked with the Solari soldier on the 1-1. One, because one. the Solari soldier is just going to trade with these anyway. Alright, going to replay Merciless Hunter challenging the other Green Glade duo. And because of the the plus three, like, obviously Solari Priestess would be, like, my best challenge, but because of the plus three, plus one card, I'm going to challenge here. This also clears up space for, so the, for the Golden Sister. So all they did was just spend two mana to draw a card, basically. This is the card they drew off Retreat. Another Retreat. Okay, try again. So this doesn't work, right? Because Ribbon Dancer is a playability to Blade Dance. So I, I assume that they were thinking that they were going to Blade Dance by, but by using the Retreat, Retreat summons, it's not playing, so they don't get to Blade Dance. Our chances. I think it's worth open attacking. I don't think it's worth playing. Like that's what I was thinking about, right? Like I, I don't think it's worth playing Robin or I first. 
stunning the inspiring marshal. I think it's worth just to open attack before they uh, play like another other blockers that could be three ones and stuff. We have played against the slowest opponents today. Like they have one card in hand. <laughs> Come on. Unwavering strength. Was it really? Oh, y'all are saying that it was at, it was waiting on me. Well, then I'm dumb. If we play I, we stun the two weakest enemies. It just stuns these two things. It's not really that big of a deal, like for next round. But I guess that's better than anything else. Yeah, that is better than anything else. So okay. I guess it's better than playing Robin. Bask in the light's radiance. Face them together. We have 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 9, 10, 11, 12. Our sun will not set today. The sun's splendor reveals. Okay, so the problem with Pale. So, like, let's say I go Pale Cascade, then they switch the Aurelia right here, and then, so then I'm like, okay, well, then I can go another Pale Cascade, but then they could switch the Blossoming Blade over there. Um, so I guess if I go Pale, let's see, I have to go Pale first, and then I go Astral Protection second. I guess I have to do that. I guess I can't go the second Pale Cascade. Okay. So yeah, like here I can't go the other Pale Cascade, I have to go the Astral Protection, unfortunately. Because if I go the other Pale Cascade, then they put the 5-3 over, and then that's bad for me. So yeah, they switched the 2-1, they should be probably switching the 5-3 and get 5 damage in on the, the 3 sisters, like that's what they should be doing. And that's why it's important to get the Robin in play. So this all, there we go. Stunned him, and that's going to be it. Daylight everlasting. All right, GGs. So uh, it started off kind of <laughs> kind of bad for us, but um, we ended up still finishing out with a two and three. So you know, like we're getting get a lot of two threes today in ranked, which is you know not bad at all, right? Like we're right there. You know, basically a 500 record. Um, but, you know, with five games, you got to be either one up or one down. So we've been one down on these. But we're not playing, you know, as powerful of decks as these tier one decks. And so we are winning winning two out of five against these really powerful ranked decks. Um, not so bad. Not so not so bad. It felt like against... Like, we're, it felt like we were pretty good against aggro. Um... Some of our bad hands, notwithstanding, but I just, I just kind of feel like we don't have the the late game power that we need in against um, some of the other decks against like some big decks like against like Nasus and uh, Dragons and stuff like that. I think I kind of look at like this Eye of the Rahoric slot. I think that this card has really been underperforming, um, and it's just not necessary here. It doesn't. It you know kind of helps Leona, I guess, a little bit, but it doesn't help Sivir whatsoever. I would look to replace this with a much more powerful card that can that can uh, be removal instead of just like a little bit of stun, and can remove um, big you know larger things. I like the sunburst; they were pretty good. But uh, like boomerang blade, that's a card that's been overperforming. Um, that that could be something that could go in here. Um, just uh, let's see, just playing like 
like star shaping, right? Like, you know, something like that that can get you like really big celestials could be kind of nice. Um, maybe something like siphoning strike that just increases the size of like your sivir and your leona and again strike. So it again, you know, helps level up your sivir. I think I'd kind of like any of these cards, you know, siphoning strike, star shaping, boomerang blade, something like that over eye of the Rohoric. Even even like Eclipse Dragon, right? Like that, you know, again, you if you you can get the daybreak and the nightfall. Um, it is a daybreak card. Um, it's huge. It has fury. You know, like even something like that, I think I'd rather have than Eye of the Rohoric. So um yeah i kind of look towards any of those cards yeah something like that um astral protection didn't look very good in our deck just another observation but there we go just some some observations uh could play like a couple zenith blades also that like maybe that's uh the card instead of instead of like this astral protection crystal ibex maybe just go like a couple zenith blades like where zenith blade again has the daybreak for leona uh, can give Sivir Overwhelm, but also, like, kind of nice, you know, turning a Merciless Hunter, like, into a 5-5 five, five here, so I'm not bad. Stuff like that. So, Zenith Blade's another option to think about. <clears throat> yeah, Rohork, Rohork didn't, didn't perform as well as some of those other cards. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Daybreak Sivir, you know, Sivir Leona here. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the videos, but... Uh, that's going to be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.